What's up everyone? This is Andy with All That Tech and today I am going to teach you how to take your streaming level up a notch by using the Elgato Cam Capture and your DSLR camera coming right up. Are you tired of using your webcam to stream? Are you not getting the quality you want? Well, it's maybe time to up your game and switch to using a DSLR camera. With the Elgato Cam Capture, you can do just that. It makes it super easy and simple to hook up your DSLR camera to stream live. And if you have an Elgato Game Capture, you can stream using the Elgato Game Capture and the Elgato Cam Capture for much, much better quality. Now, before we go any further, I want to just disclose that this video is not sponsored by Elgato. I went out and got my own Elgato Cam Capture. I've had the Elgato Game Capture HD for my Xbox One PS4 for ages now. I've always been a fan of Elgato and their hardware. I've used it before in the past. It works great. It does what it's supposed to do and I get amazing results. Now I just want to do a full disclosure of this before I go any further. Elgato did not sponsor this video. They did not pay me to make this video. They did not send me this for free. I went on Amazon and bought it with my own money and I'm actually gonna give it an honest and fair review and I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up and use it. I'm a big fan of Elgato. I've been using them for many years. I use them for my Xbox One. I use them for my PS4. I use them for anything that I need to have game capture. And now that I got a nice new shiny DSLR camera, I wanted to hook that up and stop using my crappy webcam. Now. Don't get me wrong, there are some great webcams out there for streaming, such as the Logitech C922X Pro, which streams in full 1080p, but I wanted to take my streaming level up just a notch and stream in 4K or just stream with my DSLR camera since it already produces such great quality and low light, and I would need a lot more light for the Logitech versus my DSLR camera. So with that being said, I'm going to show you guys how to set everything up. And all you're going to need is an HDMI cable. Not a regular one. It's going to be one of the mini HDMIs to full HDMI. And your Elgato cam capture device. Alright, let's just jump into it. What it's going to look like. Let's go ahead and unbox it. I already cut open the sides just so I can make it easier to take it out of the box. Alright, and then let's see. Inside will be instructions on where to go download anything you need and what cameras it supports a USB 3.0 extension the Elgato cam capture device which is actually the star of the show and our user manual and a sticker which who cares and empty box now all right, so the new, the stars of this show are this little game capture, which you can see you just put your HDMI from your camera right there, plug this in, and boom, everything should work. Now this will also work on Mac, so if you're on the go or just have a Mac, this supports Mac as well. Now I'm not sure if it supports Linux, I'll have to test that out, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my setup of how I have everything rigged up. All right, so. Guys, I'm sorry about the audio would be a little bit different on this just because I am filming this from my Google Pixel 2 and I don't have a microphone with it. So as you can see, right there is my DSLR camera. It is a Panasonic Luminex G7 series, 4K camera. Uh, that main monitor right there is going to have my Xbox footage. Yes, I do have PUBG on Xbox and PC. Uh, right there is the Elgato capture software where you can see everything, where you can stream, and basically your whole control panel is right there. And usually my third monitor, which would be right next, right, essentially here, so I can keep an eye on my chat while I stream. Uh, to show you guys my messy setup real quick, I have my Elgato game capture right there. I know wire controls are horrible. And my Elgato cam capture right there. Now this is absolutely the best setup for me because I can sit down right here. I have my camera right there and you guys can see what I pretty much see at uh, any given time. So you can also close out of this and run OBS as well. I do have OBS set up to run this as well, but sometimes I just like to use the Elgato software just because it is easier and it is 
one click does it all and you can set up your accounts and everything else you need on there so I got everything to stream ready to go you can use a different mic you can attach a mic to your camera if you want to talk I prefer my blue Yeti over here it is a nice beautiful piece of equipment right there it is synced up to my computer so when I stream I actually always choose my Blue Yeti mic as my default commentary mic and then I have obviously game audio and everything else I need and there you have it perfect good streaming quality on uh, any of your streams right now well, my Xbox controller has been disconnected I just wanted to show you guys how it works it also will work with OBS if you're streaming computer games as well so fear not you can have that while you're streaming your computer games so for example if I want to play Fortnite on my PC you know I got that set up to where I just start capturing Fortnite footage and I have my video capture so it can go ahead and capture the camera as well and that's pretty much it all right guys so as you can see that was pretty much it besides my obvious need to get some wire control over there and clean that up which i will take time to do eventually this elgato cam capture actually comes in pretty good handy if you don't want to use a webcam to stream now there's nothing wrong with using a webcam i just didn't want to buy a webcam on top of having my dslr which i use on a normal basis to shoot this show do photography and just mess around with it in general i mean why should i spend an extra $90 on an extra camera I won't need when I can just I mean the Elgato cam capture is about $113 I'll give it that it is kind of expensive when you can just buy a webcam for about 80 bucks but it's a camera that I just need to reset up remount when I can just take my DSLR and just kind of move it put it in perfect position done I know I get good high quality and I'm happy with it so that's pretty much it this game capture is amazing I've uh, actually already been using it for quite some time now and I've been finding it very helpful and very helpful in doing this show very helpful in just streaming everyday content and just an amazing little device all around I do love everything that is made by Elgato I love their game capture software and their camera capture software now is no different so with that being said, that's where I'm going to end today's show. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you want to see more tutorials, more stuff, of how I got my stuff set up, or just, I don't know, let me know what you guys want to see some more of. Do you want me to talk more about cryptocurrency? Do you want me to do more how-to tutorials? Mix up the two. And eventually, I will be having a vlog that I'll be trying to do daily, and I will also be doing a new show called Tech Talk. Well, actually returning to that show where I talk about technology in the news and politics involving technology and laws being passed that will affect your technology use or affect the internet or just affect you in general or just anybody in the world or in the United States or just, just anybody in general. Um, science is going to be involved in that as well because I love science. I think it's cool with all the cool and leaps that they're making in science. But yeah, enough rambling for today. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. And that's it. This is Andy for All That Tech, and I'll see you guys next time.